It looks complicated. Um, but we see we have a squared minus a here. We have a squared minus a here. So we want to use a dummy variable to substitute this. So we let x to be a squared minus a. Then we substitute x into this, into this. So we will write it as x minus 3, x minus 5. Then minus 3. Then we, we have a binomial, multiply by binomial. Multiply those two, multiply those two, multiply those two, multiply those two. So we get x squared, negative 3, negative 5, positive 15. Negative 3 times x, negative 3x. X times negative 5. So negative 5x. So negative 3x plus negative 5x is negative 8x. So normally when we do this, so we know this gives us the middle term. So we add those two factors. Negative 3 plus negative 5 give us negative 8. Negative 3 times negative 5 positive 15. So it's a constant term. So two linear binom two linear forms of binomials usually result in a trinomial. So then we minus three, minus three from here. So simplify those two, we get x squared minus ax plus 12. We have a binomial. We have a trinomial. Again, with trinomials, we want to factor out as two binomials. So think about two factors of 12 to be negative. So the middle term is negative, right? And those two negative numbers add to be a, multiply to be 12. So that has to be two, negative two and negative six. Negative two times negative six is positive 12. Negative two plus negative six is negative eight. So factor as x minus two, x minus six. Now we have to substitute back x into a squared minus a. So we get a squared minus a minus two, a squared minus a minus six. Now, can we factor this one and this one? Yes. Because negative 2, we think about two factors of negative 2 adds up to be negative 1. Well, they have to be negative 2 plus 1. When we multiply those two, we get negative 2. When we add those two, we get negative 1, the middle term. So that means this one can be factored as a minus 2, a plus 1. What about this term? Same thing. Negative 6. We have to think about two factors of negative 6. One is positive, one is negative. Because positive times negative give us negative. Then those two numbers multiply to be 6. These two numbers add up to be negative 1 again. Well, that has to be 3 and 2. Multiply, negative 6. Add, negative 1. So that means this one can be factored as a plus 2 a minus 3. So the original expression now factored as four factors. a minus 2 as a factor, a plus 1 as a factor, a plus 2 as a factor, a minus 3 as a factor. That's done.